Hi, uh, my name's Maka. I'm the travel editor at gapyear.com. Essentially, I got the position purely through taking a gap year for a couple of years myself. Um, I used my gap year to decide what I wanted in life, what I was good at, and I kind of decided that I was quite good at writing, quite good at taking photos, and that's how I got into journalism. Today, I'm talking at the Adventure Travel Show about what you can do on your gap year, and it's essentially three main things. You can backpack, you know, that's seeing the sights, seeing some of the most amazing places in the world. Uh, you can volunteer, um, popular vol volunteering projects you know, vary from you know, building an orphanage in Cambodia to volunteering with animals in South America, and the ever popular working on marine conservation in the Seychelles. Um, that's a bit more expensive, that one. And then finally, uh, we've got working abroad. Um, two of the most popular projects, again, are teaching English as a foreign language. Um, South Korea and China pay very, very well. You can get 18 grand a year, 20 grand a year. They'll pay for flights, accommodation, you get good holidays, good packages. And of course, um, working in Australia, uh, minimum wage out there is about £12 per hour, so it's absolutely fantastic. Just even if you're working in a pub or fruit picking, you can save, you know, four, five, six hundred pounds a week, and that's after everything else, the accommodation and food. So, One of the things that people always kind of confuse with gap years is they always think it's, you know, 17 to 25. But it's not at all. It's for anyone and everyone. It doesn't matter how old you are. It's as long as you've got this desire to go out there and see the world, see something different and really like experience life. And that's what traveling is about. That's what it gives you. On my travels, I've traveled to over 40 different countries now. And each one is unique, each one's different. And it's such an indescribable feeling. It's right in the core of your chest that, you know, it makes you happy. That's exactly what it does. You know, people in careers will save up their holidays and go on two week holidays and that's what they work towards. It almost fulfills them. Whereas when you're traveling, you know, you have that feeling, that two week feeling, you know, for two months. So the type of places that you can go is, you know, you can go to South America, is really up and coming. Southeast Asia is so popular at the moment, especially Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam and Laos. As long as you're getting out there and you're kind of like doing something different and truly trying to live your life, then obviously that's one thing that we've all got in common and that's one thing that we're all trying to do.